Hello, it's Sarah. I just wanted to turn on the camera because this is my little doggy piece that I did and I haven't finished it. <clears throat> I still need to glue. I'm going to leave these in place. But I also made these little um, just blue pieces of tile that I'm going to paint. But I'm going to use my oil-based Sharpies. Now, I don't know if you remember, I think I was doing a live at one point, and we were talking about Sharpies, and I was using them on the clay, and I got a good, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure her name's Tina. <clears throat> Forgive me if I'm wrong. I'm not good with re remembering who you guys are without knowing you. <laughs> um, but she said that the oil-based Sharpies, that the um, regular Sharpies wouldn't be as good as using an oil-based Sharpie. So I am going to, let me find my little, make sure this is all good, yep. Yeah. So I just got this at AC Moore, and I am going to attempt to edit, I mean, I'm just going to use acrylic paint if this doesn't work. Oh, it seems to be working. I'm going to do my best to stay between the lines. or And I still think I'm going to um, use a gold, probably gel pen to do the, um, the cross marks where I, you know, the separation lines. So I can't get in as close as I would. I'm going to move to the next one just so I don't mess that up. So yeah, it is really, I haven't done anything to the clay. Well, I've baked it. I baked this clay. This is Sculpey Primo. And I baked it. So I cut it to fit in the specific places that I wanted it, you know, so something like this is what I'm going for. Um, and I'll just move on to the next one. So I just did some basic um, designs, lots of checkerboard, oops, see I got it on the other side of that, which I didn't mean to. Get a Q-tip and see if it'll just come right off like acrylic paint would. Um, not as easily, but it did. It, it definitely, and then the water where I put, I licked the Q-tip isn't, um, adhering there. I'll let it dry first and I'll go back. So maybe a finer point, this is considered a medium point. So maybe a finer point, which I actually have. I got a couple other colors when I was thinking I was going to do um, Halloween. So my, I gave my husband the orange one. He was using it for, but these are all the medium. Medium, but this is uh, considered fine. It's pretty much, it's a little smaller. Let's see. So here's, that's the medium. I mean, the um, this is called, what did I just say? Fine. This is considered medium. Looks about the same. <laughs> I don't know, the nib is much wider, but it still comes out the tip the same, right? So yeah, so I'm just using this. And I don't know how long it's going to take to dry or anything, but it was just worth a shot to show you guys what I decided to do. I don't really have a check stamp that I like. So, um, let's see, should I keep it like, yeah, I'm going to keep it on the side. Um, so I always just make the pattern, and when I when the clay was not baked, I just used my um, I guess the back of the the blade, 
the back of my blade and I just made the indent lines with the back edge of my blade and I'll, like I said I'll go over that with um, probably a gold sharpie and it would have been nice if I had a piece that was like scrap that I could just play around with and um, touch and mess up and I didn't care and I could actually just do this on the back of any one of these tiles I'm sure and see because I'm not sure if it dries right away because what if I wanted to put stickles on it um, so uh, yeah it's the first time I've ever done it but I love the richness of the black and it seems to be um, really adhering like when I use acrylic paint I don't know if you guys have seen those videos the first coat is very sheer it's not like opaque like this so I'm gonna touch this I hope I don't mess it up it seems pretty dry and it looks really shiny I like it so I'll probably invest in a fine point and maybe even, no, nah, that's probably all I need. At least a fine black, maybe a fine gold. Because I have this gold, but I don't think it'll reach into, <clears throat> so in this case, to do those, you really need a fine point. But it would be good if I had, or even an ultra fine or something. I don't know how low they go. But I should. I think I'm going to look into that for doing the, because um, I always, um, do this see look on all these this is gel pen in those lines and that's acrylic paint so um, and then I'll just show you the design I may put stickles on here you know how I love my stickles but let's see how this oh this one just still did not adhere there's like a little bit of a difference up oh, I went over it let me see if that'll come off. I don't really have a nap. Oop, yes, I do. So this is oil-based Sharpie. And I wonder if it says permanent on here. Paint. Oh, it's paint. This is a paint pen, but it's oil paint. So... Yeah, they're not exactly finished until I put a little gold on there. But I'm going to give that a second. And I'll bring this into the shot. The other thing that I was kind of... I've been sitting here thinking about it today. There, I missed a spot. Um, I only had three. I'm going to go back up. I don't know which way to go. Okay three of the and they're glued it is glued already so let me just move these these are glued this is not but I only had three of these paw prints and this one has gems in it and it kind of bubbles I'll bet you these are plastic gems so when I baked it it kind of bubbled in there which I didn't love but I do think I'm going to use it because I've tried every other option I could think of without taking them off and I do like them um, I have the bone which I like the bone but I think I just don't know about three paws and a bone I mean I guess it's not that big a deal I kind of like that better now but the thing is I cut this to fit so this is going to go right here so I, I just have to find my th thickest bone and they're all ready. Um, like this one's a little thicker. I think I could make that work. You know? Or this one. But I really don't want to use that one. But I'm probably going to use it. So these are going to go in here. In these spaces. With these little paw print ones that I did. And... I used the gold leafing. Some gold leafing too. Made a little one for right there and a little one for right here. 
in this one. I'll flip it, see black and black, so I'll flip it this way. And that's how I'm going to fill it in. I mean, it's not perfect, but these doggy tiles were so big that it just didn't come together the way it normally would for me, where I have a lot more options. Um, so I had glued them already, and so I just decided to finish it off this way. And I liked, at first I was thinking of just using ones of these that I already had painted, and they fit. I had them all placed, like so it would be like this. And I still like it. So that instead of this. It's just a different look. I like it though because everything it's still dark blue and light blue. But then I decided to just go with black. And I cut these specifically. Um, and I did it in that way too because this is all this is on white clay and this is all paint. So I did it specifically using, I didn't use this clay, which one? I used Primo and I ripped off the name of it. I, I don't know if it's called turquoise or something like that. And that's what I used for the blue, as you could see. And then um, I'm just going to use the gold. So I think I'm gluing like this. I think this is going to be it, the finished product. So I just wanted to share that. Um, these are just some gold leaf that I had in my stash. And these are the little paw prints that I had. So that's it. I'm not going to grout it or do anything. So I will be, let me see, let me see if I can find my gold gel pen. I think this is it. This actually is not. This is a glaze. It's a yellow glaze. I have a lot of gel pens. This is it. This is a, good night Matt. Love you too babe. This is Jelly Roll Metallic. This one looks empty. So I got another one. Now let's just see. I keep them upside down, which probably is not a good way to store them. They should probably be stored flat, like um, horizontal. But it'll come down. I've used a lot of different gold pens and I had a fave, like I do have another option I think. Um, it's not this one, but that could work just fine, but I don't like the color of this. this is the, um, the Uniball Vision one. This is it right here. I don't know how this, this is the Pen Touch Quick Dry Permanent Opaque Fine Point. I'm going to try this one. This is a very, it's just a different kind of pen. Let's see what it says. Oh man, I can smell it. So it's um, Shake Well with Cap On. Sakura. It's by Sakura, which I love their stuff. All right, whatever. We're just going to go for it. Let me see what it does. I should probably try it on um, scrap clay first. Don't really have any, so we'll just try it on here. Seems to work just fine, so I'm gonna pull these back into the picture. And it looks wet, but it's not smudging. So I'm just gonna pull that back and see. And I when I put the indents into the clay, I purposely didn't I tried not to um, push too hard. So I'm hoping this will just leave a nice, let's go down so you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> Gorgeous. I didn't want it to be too deep is what I was saying. It's a little deep, but I think it's still good. Like this didn't really go into that little crack very well. I love it. OMG. Okay. So sometimes the tools make all the difference. And I, like I said, this is the first time I've used this um, oil based Sharpies, but it's paint, oil paint. It's not like an ink or anything. 
I'm just going to grab this. I don't know if that ink comes off, but it doesn't not very well. So um, make sure you're kind of careful. And you get this down the same way. It has one of those tips that you have to work the ink down into the nib. There we go. Oh, sorry, that was my gel pens. And just gently. I love these. I've raved about these before. Just on everything, like on mixed media, it writes pretty good. I do just want it to, there we go, just flow. See how it flowed? That's exactly what I want. All right, you guys, so that's it. This little guy is finally done been sitting over there in the corner and I didn't really I wanted to finish it before I put all this clay stuff away because I want to get I'm going to be working on art journal page so I have to clear off my desk so yeah you can't really get it off once you get it on the clay so let's see bring it in <coughs> <coughs> And then I will glue. Let's see. This one. See, I put the black on the opposite end because this has black. I have to glue all these, so I'll glue. This looks like I missed one of the lines. I didn't go this way. And that's it. I hope you like it. I kind of, I did like these for sure. They looked nice. But I decided to add the black, and I'm glad I did it with this oil-based Sharpie as well. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.